So this is my two inch sludge pump. It's a ASM diaphragm pump. Um, made in Australia, over in Victoria. So I got this um, and there was a few problems with it. This, uh, so this is like a one way valve here and that was one of the corners was broken off on that. And I think the diaphragm's got a hole on it. I did get a new diaphragm for it, but it still works. I haven't put it on. So it worked by, it's just got a ball in there. It just works as like water comes in and the ball stops it going back. I did have problems with the ball getting stuck in there in like that and not working. But I switched the ball from this one here to this one. It seems to this one seems to be just a fraction bigger and it's not doing it. Because this casting is not the original aluminium, it's cast iron. It's slightly different. But they stopped making these in, in the early 80s, I think. From memory and I thought oh, there was no chance of getting parts but they still have parts available for them so I was really surprised actually just looking that there if I sit that like that probably stop that pull hitting I hadn't noticed that before I'll just have a quick look on this side Ah, no, because that's on that side. I thought it might, if it was sitting on that side, because this one's not broken. Although it could be turned 180 degrees. But that's how it was when I got it, so. But yeah, it's got the gearbox, reduction gearbox, just to drive the diaphragm slowly. It came with a Villiers engine, same model as this, but it was pretty much stuffed, it was rotten. It did still turn over, and it still had spark, but it was stuffed, so I've got this engine here, um, I just had sitting in the shed for a few years now. So I pulled it out, and got it going, and I need a new belt. This is um, cracked and stuffed, but it still does the job for what I need today. So I'll fire it up and show you it working. So the engine is um, a little bit out of tune. I just found a carburetor in the shed because um, I had taken the carburetor off this engine but I can't remember what I used it on. So I'll have to fix that at some stage.
you can see it runs really well but you can see there's a bit of water in there so there's a, a leak somewhere there whether it's from the diaphragm in here or it's actually got a hole in it I don't think it's got a hole in it because I'd see water squirting out and there's a couple of leaks in the gaskets here I've got new gaskets for it same here just a few leaks in the gaskets um, and that there because I didn't use any thread tape I just put it together but when I actually had it pumping I didn't think it was pumping a lot but the hose was sucked on the bottom of the bucket so that's why later in the video you would have seen pumping more and that's because I was lifting this up a bit and you can see that um, it sucked this bucket out pretty quick once it gets going so it's designed to pump sludge and mud and rubbish um, so it doesn't pump a lot but it just it's got a quite good suction on it so that's what I'll be actually using it for just pumping a bit of mud out of holes and soak wells well hope you enjoyed the video I'll see you in the next one